Hello, in my previous video, number nine, I showed how to, and I explained how to modify item layout for uh, uh, specific items, like uh, uh, items type, like bugs, uh, and for, let's say, uh, user stories, etc., etc. Now, let me show you how can you add existing field and how can you create specific field, the new one, which doesn't exist, which is, uh, and how can it be applied to an, a layout? Okay, so for this, I will go to organizational settings and to process and to agile process uh, for Nana. And let's say that we need some fields for user story. Okay, if we go to user story, we can here see that we can add new field. So let me show you how to do it. Let's say that I want for user story, see who is the last person who changed it. Okay, so for that, I will go to new field and I will use an existing field. How do I know that this field exists? Well, how many fields are there which already exist? A tons of them. Where can you find them? You can find them here. You will see that you can see them if you Google file, field description for default and work item fields, use it as process template. You will see that you can find them exactly by alphabetical order, what are they and what do they mean. So let me go here to changed by, and if I click on changed by, you will see what is the change by, what is description, okay? Changed by the name of the team member who modified the work item most recently, okay? So let's go back here, okay? And let's choose changed by. And add field. Okay, now if I go here and if I choose a user story, I will see that change by is here. So I am the last person who changed it. Okay, now let's say that I want for risk, okay? to have a risk description and for user stories, okay? And let's say that I want also to know to which type of person user story belongs. Because let's say that we, uh, we need uh, attention from consultant or from technician. technician, okay? So let me go back here and I will say, say here new field and I will say create a field and I will say risk description. This is custom field. When I go to create field because risk description doesn't exist in default fields. So if I go to R here, you will see that we have here rating reasons, 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 but we don't have we have risk, but not risk description. Okay, it belongs to Agile, okay. So let's go back here and say risk description. And let's say this is text, multiple lines, okay. And I will add, add this field here, okay. So, and I will have risk description and I will move it, drag and drop under the risk, okay, here. Okay, under risk, I will have risk deception. So let's go back here again, rest refresh it, and you will see the risk description is here. Okay, so I can put high risk. Okay, this is the high risk. Okay, and I will save it. Let's say that I want for user story, see who is the last person who changed it. Okay, so for that, 
I will go to new field and I will use an existing field. How do I know that this field exists? Well, how many fields are there which already exist? A tons of them. Where can you find them? You can find them here. You will see that you can see them if you Google file, field description for default and work item fields, use it as process template. You will see that you can find them exactly by alphabetical order, what are they and what do they mean. So let me go here to changed by, and if I click on changed by, you will see what is the change by, and what is the description, okay? Change by the name of the team member who modified the work item most recently, okay? So let's go back here, okay? And let's choose changed by and add field. Okay, now if I go here and if I choose a user story, I will see that change by is here. So I'm the last person who change it. Okay, now let's say that I want for risk, okay, to have a risk description and for user stories, okay, and let's say that I want also to know to which type of person user story belongs. Because let's say that we, uh, we need uh, attention from consultant or from technician. technician. Okay, so let me go back here and I will say, say here new field. And I will say create a field. And I will say risk description. This is custom field. When I go to create field, because risk description doesn't exist in default fields. So if I go to R here, you will see that we have here rating reasons, 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 but we don't have, we have risk, but not risk des description. Okay, it belongs to Agile, okay. So let's go back here and say risk description. And let's say this is text, multiple lines, okay? And I will add, add this field here, okay? So, and I will have risk description and I will move it, drag and drop under the risk, okay? Here, okay? Under risk, I will have risk description. So let's go back here again, rest, refresh it, and you will see the risk description is here. Okay, so I can put high risk. Okay, this is the high risk. Okay, and I will save it. Okay, now let me say that I, as I told you, I want to know who should pay attention to this. So I will create a field which will called uh, which will called uh, uh, okay uh, be, uh, be business type of assignee. So let's say who are we going to assign technicians who will know what to do or should we uh, uh, put consultant here? I will here go and say pick list string, okay? And for description, I will put pick a person type who should take care of this issue, item, okay? And I will say here, consultant, and add a value, I will say, and I will say, okay, this is it, layout definition, allow user 
to enter their own values. So if I choose that, user will be able to add beside a consultant technicians, let's say developer. I don't want to do that. And I want to make this field required. And in definition, I will set add value. OK. And then, OK, this is it. Cancel. Let's see if I save it. New field, existing field. Let's put here what I choose and how I created that. So it was called how. Which 